Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Taurus, let's see what you can expect now from the 16th to the 22nd of September and the major arcana, the major influence that will be around you Taurus is the lucky card, the wheel of fortune. So some things are going to move ahead in a very positive direction for you. So this is going to be the overall overall energy and which is going to be affecting your money, success and career, your love life, your general overview. So let's take some cards for each one of these areas and see why the Wheel of Fortune is here for you. All right, Spirit. So Taurus, please. 16th to the 22nd. What can they expect in their money, finance and career first? And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus spirit, money, finance and career, what can they expect? What should they be prepared for? And why is the Wheel of Fortune here for that? The world, King of Wands, Ooh, the Empress, Nine of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Bottom of my deck, the Tower. I had the Tower in the previous I did the pre-shuffle twice for you and I got the tower twice. So yes, certain things could be ending and certain new chapters of your life could be opening now, um, Taurus, in your uh, work, finance and career. You are very eager, very excited to take action. You know it's going to take you towards a very, very good place in your life where you will have everything that you need. But because maybe initially it's going to start off a little slow and you may have some pending jobs to finish before you can embark on this new journey of yours, you may get a little stressed out. So let's see. Let's start the reading. Uh, Spirit, tell me, what's the world card representing here for their money, success and career? Eight of Wands. Yeah, things are going to start speeding up in a very, it's time. Spirit says it's time that things have to start speeding up in uh, Taurus's life. You have to maybe, uh, this is a new project or something that you're excited about, something that you are raring to go. You want to get onto your motorcycle and or, you know, catch that flight and start moving towards this new project of yours. Uh, maybe you've been waiting for this opportunity for a long, long time and you know it has the potential to, you know, give you all the success that you need where maybe you don't have to work that hard but you can start enjoying your work start manifesting all the goodies for yourself yes this week is the week where you may get some good news regarding that but it may also kind of stress you out because that means you have to shut something down before you can start this new project of yours so it could give you a bit of sleepless night stress tension you are itching to get onto that boat and move towards this new project but some past um, jobs may have to be you know kind of ended before you can take that new journey of yours uh, you know it's like when you end a job then you have to hand over the files or you have a one month period where you have to train the next person or something like that it's like yeah i i mean i wish i could take off right now but um, you will be doing right by the past past thing as well it's like i want to leave on a good note i want to do justice i want to be fair to whatever that you were involved in earlier and yes it may feel initially like it's bogging you down or it's slowing you down but um, I, I have a feeling you are going to take the good approach it's like okay I'll, I'll um, I have to do right you're being like the true emperor empress of your life where you're being very fair and balanced and you know just to whatever you're leaving behind before you can embark on this new project of yours okay so that seems good uh, spirit tell me what is uh, what 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 can we expect for their love life now love life for taurus what can they expect what should they be prepared for spirit okay love life for taurus from the 16th to the 22nd of september Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I have a feeling you will have more than one offer, <laughs> maybe some new offer, uh, some new romantic offers coming your way or maybe you are interested in somebody, uh, Taurus. Uh, 
I feel more than one offer coming towards you actually. You're going to be a little discerning as to which offer you want to take. Maybe you will want to just keep it nice and friendly or maybe you meet some people when you're out there with your friends celebrating something. Uh, you are, are going to be a little choosy. You are going to say, I'm, you know, I'm going to check out their profiles. I'll check them on Facebook and you know, I'll find out, you know, before I give my heart to anyone new. But when once you make up your mind, uh, things are going to start moving forward in a good, very, very good. I mean, you want to be clear about which offer you want to take. And once you set your mind on someone, it's going to be a brand new love, I think, coming into your life. Uh, seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands? Yep, Chariot. People will be coming towards you from every angle. There's something, something in your aura this uh, upcoming week, uh, Taurus, that people are going to be very attracted to you and wanting to move things forward with you. But um, I don't know. I do see uh, you meeting a lot of people or just wanting to keep things friendly and casual. Uh, you want to be very discerning. You want to use your intuition. You don't want to step into something too quickly. Uh, it's almost like Taurus saying, yeah, you know what, uh, in this time round, I want to, you know, have everything with this new person that I choose. I, I know it's going to be a brand new chapter of my life. So I want to choose carefully. So you will be asking a lot of questions, maybe trying to get clarity. Uh, but eventually, I think I do see you giving your heart to somebody. Somebody you're going to fall in love with or you realize you have love for this person, unconditional love. And once you make up your mind, you're going to be focused on this. This is a, a huge, beautiful love offer coming towards you. It has the potential of going the long haul. Queen of Pentacles is here as well. So it's like, yes, uh, once I now make up my mind, I'm going to uh, focus on the person where I can have a long term partnership or marriage or proposal I want or, you know, I, I envision something going till the latter years of my life. I don't want to make any mistakes this time. So I do see you doing a little bit of research. But eventually I do see you, you know, uh, setting your eyes on somebody very special this week. Okay, so overall, overall what can they expect, Spirit? Overall energy for the week. Overall energy for... I have a feeling you have more than one offer, but you're going to choose one. Somebody that, oh, Ace of Cups here as well. See, it's like stress, tension. What, who, what should I give my heart to? I, there are new beginnings coming for you in your love life and your financial life. You will be taking a leap of faith into a new direction. A wheel of Fortune is moving in your favor. But I see a little bit of a cautious approach where both are concerned it's like yes i've got this opportunity i know it's going to take me places but you know i must end my past um, you know obligations before i can begin even in your love life it's like a new opportunity in love coming but it's going to like trap you in your mind for a little bit you're going to be kind of really focused on the right kind of person that you want to manifest into your life it's like i don't want to carry any past baggage even in my love life, I want to end everything, maybe even internally cleanse myself out before I can have a brand new beginning. It's like you know you're on that switch over, turnover place in your life and you want to start everything on a clean shit. Okay, so tell me about the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, yep, judgment. So judgment is going in your favor this week. Uh, no wonder the Wheel of Fortune is here for you. But um, you see, this is going to be death and rebirth. So any death and rebirth, even when your baby has been born, it is a stressful time. It does put you in your head and it does give you a bit of, you know, a little pain of leaving the past behind and, you know, starting something new. It is a lot, lot of stress. But um, you are manifesting the best possible Think for yourself by making the right choices, right decisions, because this time round you're not going to settle for anything less than the best. It's like I need to find victory in my life and I'm not going to make the wrong decision or, or have pending karmas which are going to follow me across. I really see you, Taurus, this time 
closing down chapters it's like packing up totally handing over the key of the last apartment to your you know landlord and saying you know i've removed all my junk from here and i'm leaving it sparkling clean so that i can now move into my palace right so 10 of wands 10 of wands 4 of pentacles yes you are shutting the doors to some past chapters and uh, kind of thinking long and hard before you start the brand new one but once you make up your mind it's like clean shit now i'm ready for the new okay any advice regarding this spirit any advice regarding this for taurus for the upcoming week advice for taurus strength you are stronger than you feel you are going to be in control this is going to be the week where you're sitting on your throne i already had the empress earlier now here comes the emperor which tells me this this week upcoming week uh, taurus you are get taking back control of your own life and standing in your power or at least that's your advice you have everything that you need to do right by yourself and others around you all right so tell me about the strength card strength card strength card spirit 10 of pentacles yes 10 <laughs> of pentacles and the fool card i told you taurus you are heading towards a brand new chapter of your life heading straight towards long term happiness not only in your family life but also your financial life so this is going to be the week if you can be strong enough to uh close down past chapters in a very nice clean way and then start the new chapter of your life there's nothing short of victory that you're going to get have a wonderful week ahead taurus it seems very good love and light take care namaste